as we contemplate the sprawling tapestry of wealth and legacy woven into the social fabric of Massachusetts, it becomes clear that certain communities stand out as bastions of old money. That rarefied echelon of society, comprising those whose wealth stretches back generations or even centuries, with roots in industries, politics, and social spheres that have imbued their patrician class with a certain air of exclusivity. It is within this context of coins and culture that we explore the communities that have emerged as the definitive cradles of old money in Massachusetts, using a series of carefully crafted criteria that weigh historical significance, wealth, and cultural influence. We present to you the communities that have secured their place in the upper echelon of Massachusetts society. So grant us a like, subscribe, then join us as we embark on a journey through the past and present of these enclaves of privilege and prestige and list the top seven old money communities of Massachusetts. Number one, Beacon Hill. We must first turn our attention to Beacon Hill, Boston. The story of Beacon Hill is one of the most compelling tales of the American aristocracy, a story that begins in the early 19th century when Boston was rapidly emerging as a center of commerce and industry. Seeking to establish a permanent resident befitting their status, the old money families of Boston, the so-called Boston Brahmins, began to gravitate towards the hill with its commanding view of the city and its enviable location in the heart of Boston's downtown. As Rose Kennedy, matriarch of the legendary Kennedy dynasty, once reportedly quipped, if you're Irish, you move to Charlestown. If you're Italian, you move to the North End. If you're a Brahmin, you move to Beacon Hill. Here in Beacon Hill, the Brahmins constructed lavish townhouses and mansions replete with all the trappings of wealth and refinement, from ornate facades to sweeping staircases to vast ballrooms. And it is in these very homes that many of these families have remained for generations, passing down their wealth and privilege like heirlooms from one generation to the next. One famous old money family that still has a home in Beacon Hill is the Cabot family, whose ancestors were among the founders of the Boston Brahmin Society. Another famous old money family who still has at least one home in Beacon Hill is the Lowell family. The Lowells were known for their wealth and influence in the textile industry, and their grand home on Beacon Hill is a testament to their enduring legacy in the community. There is even a famous college dorm on Harvard University's campus donning their family's name. Thus, if you are thinking of old money in Massachusetts' biggest city and capital, the first place you should think is Beacon Hill. Number 2. Nantucket Island Next, we travel upon the sun-soaked shores of Nantucket Island, a place where the sands of history and the tides of tradition converge to create a landscape of rarefied beauty and exclusivity. For it is here, amidst the salty sea breezes and the clapboard houses, that the story of old money in Nantucket first began. The history of Nantucket as a center of wealth and privilege dates back to the 18th century, when the island was a bustling hub of the whaling industry, attracting merchants and seafarers from across the globe. It was during this time that the first old money families began to make their presence felt on the island, establishing grand estates and summer homes that would become the cornerstone of their legacies. As the years went by, Nantucket continued to evolve into a playground of the rich and famous. With its pristine beaches, quaint cobblestone streets, and unmistakable charm attracting a steady stream of the elite from across the country. Nestled with the sprawling estates and manicured lawns, one finds the main old money neighborhoods of Nantucket. The first of these is the Brant Point area, a collection of grand mansions and sprawling estates that line the shores of the harbor. Here, the old money families of Nantucket have staked their claim to some of the island's most coveted real estate, with homes that offer breathtaking views of the sea and surrounding landscape. 
Moving further inland, one encounters the historic district of Nantucket, a place where the island's rich cultural heritage is on full display. Here, the streets are lined with clapboard houses and cobblestone streets, evoking a sense of old world charm and elegance. But it is in the Siaskinset area where one finds perhaps the most quintessential expression of old money on Nantucket. In Siaskinset, Along rolling hills and lush gardens, one encounters a series of grand estates and summer homes that have been passed down from generation to generation, each one a testament to the enduring legacy of privilege and prestige on the island. Today, Nantucket remains as one of the most desirable destinations for the old money set, with its well-heeled residents enjoying a lifestyle of unparalleled luxury and leisure. The next place on our list of old money communities in Massachusetts takes us on a journey back in time to the picturesque town of Concord, Massachusetts. In Concord, we'll find ourselves immersed in a world of historic making elegance, a world that has been shaped and defined by the forces of old money and privilege. The history of old money in Concord dates back to the 19th century, when the town emerged as a center of culture and refinement, attracting a steady stream of wealthy families seeking to escape the bustle and chaos of urban life. It was during this time that Concord earned a reputation as a bastion of intellectual and artistic achievement, attracting luminaries such as Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, and Louisa May Alcott, all of whom played a crucial role in shaping the town's cultural identity. If you're itching to get the feeling of old money in your bones on your visit to Concord, you'll be drawn inexorably to the Concord Country Club, a bastion of privilege and exclusivity that has long been associated with the town's wealthiest and most prominent families. From the moment one steps onto the grounds of the Country Club, it is impossible not to be struck by the sheer opulence and grandeur of the place. The club's stately clubhouse, with its sweeping verandas and lush gardens, exudes an air of sophistication and refinement that is unmatched in the region. But it is not just the physical beauty of the Concord Country Club that sets it apart from other private clubs in the area. It is also the deep history and tradition that infuse every aspect of the club's operations from its meticulously maintained golf course to its formal dining room and lounge. For more than a century, the Concord Country Club has been a gathering place for the town's most prominent families, a place where they can come together to socialize, relax, and indulge in the finer things in life. Today, Concord remains a hub of wealth and privilege, with its grand homes and manicured lawns serving as a testament to the enduring power of old money in American society. Number four. Weston. Next, we travel over to the verdant hills and manicured estates of Weston, Massachusetts. From the earliest days of its settlement, Weston has been a magnet for wealthy families seeking to escape the bustle and rush of urban life. Here, on the rolling hills and in pristine forests, these families established grand estates and summer homes that would become the cornerstones of their legacies. And it is this history, this sense of continuity and legacy, that continues to attract old money families to Weston today. In this idyllic town, nestled in the heart of the Boston suburbs, one finds a sense of peace and tranquility that is unmatched in the region, a respite from the frenetic pace of modern Boston life. But it is not just the town's natural beauty that has made it a hotspot for old money families. It is also its proximity to the city, which allows easy access to Boston's financial and cultural centers, as well as the town's commitment to preserve preserving its historic character and architectural heritage that has made it a bastion of wealth and exclusivity. Two of the most prominent hotspots for old money in Weston are the Weston Golf Club and the Meadowbrook School. The Weston Golf Club is a private club that has been a gathering place for the town's wealthy families for generations. With its immaculate golf course, world-class dining facilities, and extensive social events calendar, the club offers a respite from the pressures of everyday life and a chance to connect with like-minded individuals. The Meadowbrook School, on the other hand, is a private school that has been a fixture of the Western community since the 1920s. With its rigorous academic programs and focus on character development, the school has long been considered one of the preeminent institutions of its kind in the region, attracting families from all over the country. Together, 
the Weston Golf Club and the Meadowbrook School represent the essence of old money in Weston, embodying the values and traditions that have made this town a beacon of wealth and privilege. Number five, Wellesley. Next, we delve into the rarefied world of old money in Wellesley, Massachusetts. From its earliest days, Wellesley has been a magnet for the wealthy families seeking to establish their legacies and build a better life for themselves and their children. Amidst the stately homes and manicured lawns, two of the most prominent places to find who's who of old money in Wellesley are the Wellesley Country Club and the Honeywell Arboretum. The Wellesley Country Club is a private club that has been a gathering place for the town's old money families for generations. The facilities at the Wellesley Country Club are truly state-of-the-art, offering members a chance to indulge in their favorite activities and hobbies in a setting that is unmatched in the area. The club's immaculate golf course, designed by renowned architect Donald Ross, is a testament to the enduring power of the sport, with its challenging layout and stunning natural beauty drawing golf enthusiasts from all all over the world. Its state-of-the-art tennis facilities are equally impressive, with courts that are maintained to the highest standards and a staff of experienced professionals who are dedicated to helping members improve their skills and achieve their goals. The Honeywell Arboretum, another place to be seen if you're old money in Wellesley, is a botanical garden that has been a fixture of the Wellesley community for over a century. With its extensive collection of rare and exotic plants, as well as its meticulously maintained gardens and walking trails, the Arboretum offers a serene and tranquil environment that is unmatched in the Massachusetts area. Together, the Wellesley Country Club and the Honeywell Arboretum represent the very essence of old money in Wellesley, embodying the values and traditions that have made this town a beacon of wealth. Number six, Winchester. Next, we'll take a trip over to the leafy streets and grand estates of Winchester, Massachusetts. From its earliest days, Winchester has been a haven for wealthy families in a community that prizes refinement and sophistication above all else. And it is this sense of continuity and legacy that continues to attract old money families to Winchester even now. If you want to get the real old money experience in Winchester, you'll have to be seen hobnobbing at both the Winchester Country Club and the Wright Lock farm. The Winchester Country Club is a private club founded in 1922 by a group of prominent local businessmen and community leaders who are looking for a way to escape the pressures of everyday life and connect with like-minded individuals in a serene and tranquil environment. Over the years, it has become a gathering place for some of the most prominent and influential families in the region. The Wright Lock Farm, on the other hand, is a historic farm that has been a fixture of the Winchester community for over three 375 years. One of the most famous stories associated with the Wright Lock Farm is its connection to the American Revolution. Legend has it that the farm was a hub of activity during the war, serving as a meeting place for the local militia and a safe haven for those fleeing British soldiers. Some even claim that Paul Revere himself rode through the farm on his famous midnight ride to warn of the approaching British troops. Many locals believe that the farm is haunted by the ghost of Susan. Anna Wright, a former owner of the farm who died under mysterious circumstances. Despite these rumors, however, the farm remains a popular destination for visitors and locals alike, a testament to its enduring legacy and unique place in the history of Winchester. And number seven, Manchester by the Sea. And last, we would be remiss not to mention the picturesque town of Manchester by the Sea, a town that despite a recent film of the same name, making it sound like a depressing place to be, Manchester by the Sea is synonymous with wealth, privilege, and beautiful sights. So what is it about Manchester by the Sea that has made it such a hot spot for old money families? Many point to the town's stunning natural beauty, which includes miles of pristine beaches, lush forests, and scenic waterways. Our favorite places in town for old money and luxury would be the Manchester Yacht Club and Singing Beach. The Manchester Yacht Club is a private club founded in the early 1900s with an instantly name-dropping member list. One of the most famous members of the Manchester Yacht Club was President John F. Kennedy, 
who was a frequent visitor of the club during his time in office. Kennedy was an avid sailor and loved to spend time on the water, and the Manchester Yacht Club offered him a chance to indulge in his favorite pastime in a setting that was both beautiful and exclusive. The renowned poet Robert Frost was also a member of the club and was known to spend time at the Manchester Yacht Club working on his writing and enjoying the scenic views of the harbor. Now, Singing Beach is a stunning beach that has been a fixture of the Manchester by the Sea community for over a century. Singing Beach has a long and storied history as a gathering place for the wealthy and influential with a tradition that stretches back over a century. The beach first became popular among the elite in the 1800s and early 1900s when the wealthy families of Boston began to build summer homes and cottages in the area. During this time, Singing Beach was a popular destination for some of the most prominent and influential families in the region, with names like Cabot, Forbes, and Coolidge among those who would frequent the beach during the summer months. The beach has remained a hot spot for the wealthy and influential throughout the 20th century, with names like Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis and the Rockefeller family among those who are known to frequent the area. Today, the beach remains a popular destination for those seeking a respite from the pressures of everyday life in Boston and the surrounding areas, and it is known for its stunning natural beauty and serene tranquility. Now, before we say goodbye, if you enjoyed this video, send us a like and a subscribe for we're planning to cover many more insights on the old money communities, mentality, and history of the United States and more. And last, leave us a comment. Did we miss any places? If you're a native of Massachusetts, tell us your thoughts on these communities. This has been Old Money Luxury, and we'll see you on the next one.